What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I am going to show you guys something that is absolutely extraordinary. So I've been making this series of videos out here where I'm showcasing 2022 closeout models. And why am I doing that? Because it's no surprise that as you know, us RV reviewers go out to dealerships and we show you 2023 models, the pricing is still beyond what most people can afford. Or not most, but a lot of people. It's beyond the price that people wanna pay. So they're looking for deals. And a lot of people have been looking at pre-owned units or they've been trying to find you know, this killer deal and if you look around at 2022 you know last year models you may be able to find the deal you're looking for so i've been showing a lot of different types of floor plans a lot of travel trailers um, i want to show you a big fifth wheel this is a montana it's a full montana it's not a montana high country which is kind of the the lower trim model this is a montana which means you're getting a really really luxurious unit and you're going to be blown away by the price on this thing so hang tight i'll be right back As always, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit first. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. This is heavy. Twin 7,000 pound axles. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,950 pounds. And the unloaded weight of the dry weight is 13,490 pounds. So, oh, G-rated tires, by the way. Um, what I would say in terms of towability, put this thing behind at least a one ton single rear wheel if you're not gonna load it up that heavy. Uh, make sure you have roughly 4,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity because this is gonna transfer a lot of weight to the back of a vehicle. I would ideally say you need a modern dually to tow something like this. That's just me. Anyways, we're gonna take a look closer look at the inside then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside. I can see the hydraulic leveling system. More ride step above steps. Let's take a look in this 3931 FB. FB means front bedroom. It has 200 watts of solar on the roof as well. Nice screen assist already in place. Screen door defender also in place. These are little upgrades that you typically would have to pay for. All right, so check this beauty out. It is more of a traditional rear living room setup, but it's very long, so they've been able to squeeze some other things into this unit that I think you're really going to like. All right, so let's look at the price real quick. MSRP of $128,698. That's pretty high. What do you think the sale price on this unit is? Again, this is a 2022 model year. Sale price on this unit is a hair over $90,000, which makes this affordable for a lot of folks. It really does. And one of the huge perks is they actually include three AC units. So you have an AC up front and you have two ACs in this area and they look really, really nice. Plus take a look at the crown molding and the trim and the cabinetry. I mean, I love how they've broken apart the color tones here and it just looks absolutely upscale and amazing. They've done a great job with this unit. We're gonna start kind of in this area and work our way around. Again, a lot of cabinetry. It's all done the right way. This is where you would put your washer and dryer soft closing cabinets as well. Here's your prep. Nice drawers. Just look at the poles on it. Oh, there it is. Soft closing drawers as well. So you get soft closing cabinets and soft closing drawers. $90,899. They've taken $37,799 off of the price. That's the price of a nice travel trailer, just in savings. So I'm, I'm excited because Finally, I can show you all stuff that has come down in price to a point that it's more affordable for most folks that are looking for these types of units. All right, coming through, we got our GE French door refrigerator. Very nice. And if you see the word Anna on the outside of the unit, I know a lot of people are wondering on different units I've shown why that's there. Uh, they just told me it's because their cleaning person's named Anna, and that means she's been in the unit and cleaned it. That's all it means. So you got your stove, three burner cooktop. This is a really, really nice range. So it looks like a full drop-in range because it has a drawer there, but the drawer is actually part of the cabinet. Looks really nice though. High point residential microwave, storage above and beside it. Nice island, which has kind of a different color scheme to it, which looks really, really nice. Lots of drawers. You got your TPMS there as well. All magnetic holds on everything. You have your dual basin stainless steel sink. Nice upgraded sprayer, a lot of drawers here as well, and again, all soft closing. 
You have a little charging station over here. Nice solid surface, like a Corian style countertop. Good size pantry. With a nice frosted glass window. TV already in place. A lot of storage up there. And stepping back, you can see your TV, your huge panoramic fireplace, JBL sound system. Um, this is just a really, really nice area. They've done a great job here and name brand stuff as well. So you have this huge hide a bed. So it's also a sofa that turns into almost a king size bed. They don't flip up. You have both day and night roller blinds here as well. Beautiful valances. Coming around this way. This thing is super cool. So this is the size of a sofa, but it's actually theater seating. So it has power recline, massage heat, all that. And then this flips down. And then you have a cool charging station here with USB, cup holders. Very, very nice. This is also really nice. So this is adjustable, can slide up and down for different heights. You're gonna have two more chairs. They're probably up front underneath the bed. Beautiful light fixtures all the way around. This thing is really, really nice, including the lighting up here. Anyways, let's make our way back a little bit. So check this out, half bath. So again, this is a very long unit and they've put a lot of really, really cool features in here that makes it appealing for a lot of folks. So you have a mirror on the wall, porcelain bowl sink below it, porcelain foot flush toilet, a lot of storage back here, more storage down here more storage down here and access to some of your connections. Very cool. All right, coming up here, wardrobe storage for coats. You have your control panel right here. You can also access it via an app. All right, king size bed, you got some Storage right here as well, hanging rods also. This is really cool. You got some storage up there. I do wish the nightstands were lower, only because I don't feel it's convenient to have to reach up to set stuff on top of your valance. It'd be nicer if they were coming off the front, but that might be enough room for a CPAP, so that's good for a lot of folks. King size bed, probably gonna be some chairs under it. Yep, so you have your other dinette chairs under here as well, plus additional storage. On this side, you have more wardrobe storage. Six drawers here and three cabinets here. All soft closing. Then you have your TV already in place, nicely trimmed off. You have your AC unit up here as well. All right, coming into the bathroom. Very cool, dual vanity. Nice porcelain bowls already in place, mounted above a thermofoil countertop access to your plumbing on this side. But then on this side, you know, you got storage around it. So you didn't lose storage per se. You just have some of it that's obstructed a little bit. All right. So you have large medicine cabinets above your vanities as well. Very nice. And then right here, more hanging wardrobes. And down here as well. Very, very cool. You have your porcelain foot flush toilet. One piece shower stall system from Frontline. Nice slide bar over here as well. Over here you have a cool little seated area that flips up and gives you storage underneath it. Good spot for like laundry. Then you have a nice size closet up front. Very cool. There's a lot of room in there as well. On twin sliding mirrored doors as well which is also really nice very cool what do you guys think let's step outside this unit and see what it's all about okay starting from the front working our way back this has the road armor front pin box it's basically is a big rubber bushing this rotates to help reduce some of the chucking and vibration um, between the truck and the trailer and the trailer and the truck you have some storage under here this is also where generator prep stuff like that would go if you have it for a generator 50 amp cables in here. It has two batteries plus all your hydraulics right there for the six point hydraulic leveling system. Up front here, you have one of your 30 pound propane cans. You could easily fit a 40 pound propane can in here if you wanted, so you're going to have one on each side. 
You have your front storage, nice heavy dense baggage doors. This does ride on a drop frame, which is why you have such a cavernous storage in here. Huge, huge amount of storage. You have a road vac also. You have some satellite and TV connections in here as well. Very cool. You have your aluminum bath tech spot above. Nice slam latches. This rides on an eight inch I-beam frame drop section that attaches to a 12 inch main beam section. So 12 inch I-beam with an eight inch I-beam right here. Outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater, has your step above Moride steps right here. Saloon S637 tires, love those G-rated tires. Has the Road Armor suspension on it as well, which is really nice. Upgraded shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. You have your power awning right here, as well as an awning over here. Bring your end to the back. Rack and pinion slide out. All LED lighting, I love the lighting. Ladder to get you on top, it is prepped for a backup camera as well. All frameless windows. You have a two inch receiver with a four way connector and chain holes, which means this is rated for towing. Generally 3000 pounds worth of towing capacity, 300 pounds worth of hitch capacity, though I generally don't recommend doing that. You have a nice large slide right here. Again, all frameless windows. That's a vent for your microwave above. You definitely wanna make sure that's open before you uh, start using the vent on the inside. Sewer connection here, outside shower, which is really nice. You can clean out your hose when you're done. 50 amp connection on this side. And your water panel is gonna be in here. So here is all of your water panels, all of your connections. Set it up for winterization, tank fill, all of that. Plus your gray and black tank flush handles or drain handles and your low point drains. Very cool. And that's just gonna be your other 30 pound propane can. And this is gonna be your auto leveling controls. What do you guys think of this unit? Super cool. I mean, pricing is getting really good again, which is really nice. So even if the MSRPs are still high, you know, they're giving you over $37,000 off of that, which, uh, which can really make something like this achievable by a lot of folks who are looking for a large fifth wheel. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.